I think it's safe to say we can expect big things from young Edric. Congratulations, sir, on the award. And all the best of luck. I think you're going to change a lot of lives with that one. Absolutely amazing. Now, talking about incredible youngsters, when 11-year-olds, Abriella Bridal last joined us here on Express. So she was gearing up to become the youngest ever to complete the Robben Island Crossing, one of the toughest swims in the world. Well, this past weekend, she finally achieved her goal as she swam eight kilometers from Robben Island to Big Bay in Cape Town at three hours and eight minutes. This morning, Abriella joins us on the line from Jay Bay to chat about her historic swim. Abriella, very good morning. Good morning to you. Um, I don't even know where to begin. I think you stole all our hearts when we first met you because, yes, you're an amazing person, but you've got this incredible drive after so many challenges. Nearly two years down the line, you finally got to successfully complete your goal after such a long build-up. How does it feel to finally have achieved it? You are the youngest swimmer ever in the world in history to complete the crossing. How are you feeling? I feel and I'm so happy it's sad now because now I can just have a little break saying that we do start school today, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, and yes, the water was nice. Everything was nice about the swim, actually. Um, you know, you were in the water for kind of a paltry three hours. Um, and yeah. Did it live up to the experience physically? Were you able to take it in your stride, so to speak? How did the swim itself go? Were there any hiccups? Did you have any nervous moments? Um, no, I didn't have any nervous moments. Um, but it all started when I was swimming and I asked my dad how far we gone. And he said an hour. I was like, oh, wow. So it was like 15, 20 minutes to me. And then, um, yeah, I was like, oh, yes, only three more of these to go. Um, well, clearly, clearly you were prepared, and, and we know how hard you, you trained to do this, but there was a, a much bigger story unfolding as well because you wanted to raise funds for an organisation very close to your heart, the Red Cross Children's Hospital. How much money have you been able to raise so far? So I checked my donations. I raised 130000 for them. And I checked those like three days ago. So it's probably going a bit bigger, hopefully. Wow. But yes. 130,000, that's got to make it feel really worthwhile. I know you wanted the achievement of being the youngest ever, but that's got to be the real reward. Yeah, that, um, I'm so happy about that. Oh, well done. It's going to benefit so many people. We are so proud of you. So I have to ask now, you said you're going to take a bit of a break. What, what is next? Mount Everest, what's the next challenge? Um, I don't know. I, I think maybe just... Yo, that's a hard one. <laughs> Crossing the Atlantic. Um, I know you're going to need a bit of time for all of this to really sink in because it is something momentous. You've done something that no one else in the world has ever done before. You are the youngest ever. We are so, so proud of you, and you are just such a cool young person. So thank you so much for sharing this journey with us. Thank you for having me on the show. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. You know you've got an open door here. Whenever you are ready to take on Mount Everest or whatever your next challenge is going to be, um, please come back. But um, first and foremost, all the best of luck for going back to school, man. We absolutely love you, Abriella. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Th thank you very much. Um, Abriella has left the building. Well, there is proof yet again. No matter what your age, your position in life, if you set your mind to something and you're doing something for someone else, you can achieve anything you set your mind to.